but I just want to. Good. We have a good crowd and a good show. Let's get started by meeting our first guest. He grew up in Daytona Beach, Florida. He says that his ideal woman is tattooed on his calf. And he claims that his hobby sometimes interferes with his love life. Please welcome Kenny Wright back to the show. Hey, Kenny. Nice to see you again, my friend. Have a seat. Uh, Kenny was with us yesterday, and we ran out of time, so thanks for coming back. Thank we you. We appreciate that. How does your hobby interfere with your love life, Kenny? Uh, well, I uh, surf, and it's not so much a hobby as it is. It's just become... It's ruled my life. I've lost uh, everything from girlfriends to jobs, chasing after waves, and moving across the country and just uh it either girls either really like it or they really don't it's cost me a, it's a big bit a big sacrifice but it's yeah. worth every it's worth every minute but it, it's more than a hobby to you it's a passion yeah. yeah yeah tell me about this uh tattoo on your calf uh well here it's uh yeah mrs. can we have a look mrs Wright, and um i'll know when i meet her because hopefully she'll have the a tattoo of me on her there it is <laughs> yeah. yeah nice and that's uh what i well, when you meet her, I pray to God she's wearing that outfit. <laughs> Let's remind everyone what happened yesterday, Kenny. Our studio audience saw Kenny's three choices, and they voted for one. Let's take a look at all three women again. First, it was Ramel. She's not interested in smooth talkers, party animals, or men who wear cowboy boots. Next, it was Janine. She'd like to meet a man who owns a truck and will take her camping. And finally, Melissa. She loves surprises and guys with a cleft in their chin. The audience vote was recorded yesterday, and we'll get to that a little later, of course. But right now, Kenny, remind us who you chose. Uh, I picked Ramel. Ramel. All right. Let's welcome her to the show. This is Ramel Hawkins. Hi, Ramel. Thanks Hi. for being here. Hey. Hi, Kenny. Hello. Tell us about your date, Kenny. Uh, let's see. We called. Uh, I called her up, and uh, we decided on uh, where we we're going to go. And. Uh, Right off the bat, I kind of had this bad feeling. It just seemed kind of, uh, she seemed a lot more mature, and she seemed like a grown-up, you know, kind of like a, yeah. a little more responsible than the girls I usually go out with. All right. Now, were you looking forward to the date after you spoke to Kenny, Ramel? Well, um, when I talked to Kenny on the phone, there were a bunch of his friends in the background, and uh, he's like, you guys go on without me. There's some crap I got to handle. And I thought, <laughs> So I can't say that I was looking forward to it because I, I was a little on edge. All right. So the phone call wasn't real good for either one of you, but what happened next? Uh, well, we made plans. Uh, she was going to come by and uh, pick me up on the way. We decided we we're going to go to uh, Tijuana. And uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody has fun in Tijuana. Um, so she came by to pick me up. Uh-huh. And when you greeted Kenny, how did he greet you, Ramel? Well, after about the fifth knock on the door, he came <laughs> to the door. He was a little groggy, a little unaware. He had nothing on except for shorts, and I think I just woke him up. I just hear this noise, and I was just like, who's beating on my door at 12 o'clock in the morning? Right. It was like afternoon and morning. And, um, no, but really, honest to God, what an ungodly yeah, hour. No. It, it just, I, I, was, I don't wake up very easily, yeah. and um, I didn't know why somebody was at the door, so I opened up the door, and... Now, there she is, and it took me a minute. She's like, I'm your love connection. We're on a date. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And it, it came to me then. Everything yeah. started to make sense then. <laughs> All right. But All right. at first, it kind of uh, it threw me. Yeah, so you were aware you were on a date, and then yeah. what happened? So I go upstairs, take a shower, and um, at first glance, it's just like, oh, she's hot. I was stoked. Um, Thank you. But I, I figured I already blew it. It, was, um, it didn't seem like uh, it was working out. And I was just up there in the shower just thinking, uh, I have a chance to go out with this really hot girl, and I already blew it, and it just didn't seem like it was. Yeah. You know, All right. Bad, well, you bad, went up and had a shower, though. Did, did he look a little yeah. better to you after the shower, Ramel? Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. He looked great. He came downstairs, and and I mean, he just looked wonderful. He has piercing blue eyes and a beautiful face, and I was very excited. All right. So you were impressed then. And then what happened, yeah. Kenny? Uh, so we get in her car and uh, we drive down to uh, Tijuana. It's kind of a tradition. The first place we go when I go with my buddies, we go. Um, it's kind of a bar slash shady, sketchy kind of casino and illegal fireworks stand. They've just got all kinds of crazy, like quarter <laughs> sticks of dynamite, just crazy stuff. She had this bright idea to gamble the whole uh, $100 that we got from um, the, the Love Connection. Oh, all right. Did you win or lose, Ramel? Oh, of course I won. Woo! We yeah. had a girl. Oh, we won all of a sudden, <laughs> Kenny says. <laughs> all right, so then what happened? Uh, we work our way to uh, the El Torito. It's a great restaurant. Um, very famous. <laughs> yeah. Great place. 
Did you have a good time at the restaurant, Ramel? Yeah, I had a blast. They actually had a mechanical bull. And so Kenny got on with my sombrero, and he's like, woo, he's booping it up. It. <laughs> it was fun. So what happened then? So then, um, just, uh, I could feel that we're getting along. You know, things were, you know, working out pretty well. And she asked me, just out of nowhere, if I wanted to lick some salt off of her neck. And once I realized she wasn't kidding, you know, I was like, yeah, of course, of course I do. I mean, what kind of questions that? Bring it on. Bring on, you know. Right. She pulls back her hair and um, takes some tequila and uh, gets it wet, and I put some salt on it, you know, do my, my shot. And uh, it was just weird. It, it, it started off, it started off so bad, and it just, everything was great. You so, know? yeah, you had a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a great time. Anything happened on the way time. home, Ramel? Well, um, Kenny must have been very tired because he fell asleep on me halfway home, so I had to drive home by myself. But, um, <laughs> so, but I mean, it was a great trip, and um, he's, just, he's just great. All right, good. So you make your way home. Tell me how the date ended, Kenny. After the uh, El Torito, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> It was, it's more than a blur. Well, you know it's, what? Uh, Ramel was there. I could ask her yeah, if she remembers how it ended. Do you remember how it ended, Ramel? Yes. I dropped him off, and I went and opened up the door and escorted him out, and I gave him a nice hug and a kiss on the cheek. And that's how our date ended. All right. Well, it sounds good. It sounds like you had a lot of fun. But let's take a look and see who the audience voted for. Oh, man. Landslide. 88% of our audience chose Melissa for you, Kenny. If, you, if you'd like to go on a date with Melissa, we'd be happy to pay for it. Uh, if, uh, I'd like to go out with Ramel again. You'd like to see Ramel yeah. again? What do you think of that, Ramel? That's fine. Good. Come on out. Thanks for being with us. We enjoyed meeting you guys. We're going to take a break and be right back with another couple after this. My job is to compare products.